Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, it's SketchMonkey here and today is all about muscle cars. Growing up in Sweden we didn't really have any available or not, there weren't many of them. What we did have was the Volvo 740 which is kind of a muscle car or a tank and the 240 as well. I would say those are the equivalents of uh, Swedish muscle cars. Easy to work on, very boxy and very tank-like. Not that powerful though, most of them are four cylinders, a few of them six cylinders. But in this case we're talking about the Dodge Charger. This is an old car. It came out in 2004 and the platform that it's built on can be traced back to 1995 with the Mercedes E-Class, so it's a really old design, but it did have a bunch of updates over the years, and we're going to make another update to it right now in this video and modernize this final shape that we have today. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, we need to consider what exactly makes a muscle car a muscle car. To me, a muscle car is very boxy. It doesn't have styling for the sake of styling it does have styling for the sake of functionality and should be kind of easy to work on probably not a modern muscle car because of all the tech but generally it should feel like a simple car with focus on the power and less focus on the styling part of the design even though we can make a cool design out of it it still has to be simple geometries and less radiuses and more sharp edges and corners so what i want to do with this front end here for example i think this is it'll, it's a cool looking car but ju it just doesn't feel muscle car to me so i want to straighten this front end out i want to frame it in a way that we have a distinct frame of this and with in this frame we're going to fit all the graphical elements of this car so for example i want to keep the graphical elements of this these headlights right here but i want to square it out i also want to have this line be straight and maybe have the square the headlights dip down a little bit in the fender like they do here we can keep that but overall i just want to make it look tougher and more like the 70s style of muscle cars. So for example, I'm still going to keep the graphics like these air intakes, for example. What I'm gonna do with these is integrate them in this square, something like this. I'm pretty sure already where I wanna go with this design. Same thing with this. You see these rounded edges here? I just don't think that suits a muscle car. So I will turn those into more sharper corners. Another thing about this charger that is very distinct for this model is this side uh, styling, whatever you wanna call it the the crease that you have on the side so i want to keep that because to me that is similar to the the few styling features that they had on the 70s charger they did have something similar like this but what i want to do instead since it's a muscle car and since what i said in the beginning i want to have the design be more functional or every single styling feature of this car be more functional so what i'm going to do is extend this so that it goes in front of the door so this part Part of the uh, design or the styling feature is going to be an air outlet right here so we're gonna make this black maybe have some flares in here or something like that make it cool so we can still have the same kind of design if you look at it from a side view but now it's going to be a function attached to that design for the wheels i really like these wheels these uh stock wheels that, they, that comes with the charger and the challenger but since we're redesigning it, we might as well find something similar and try to see how that will look on this car. So we're gonna find some different wheels, play around with it and smack them on there. Now, when we're framing the front like this, that means that this line right here, this fender line is not going to work because this is going to be attached to some random point on this straight line. So what we have to do here is to move this line so that it goes like this instead and attaches to the corner of the front end frame that we're going to create on this design. Another small detail I want to change or modify with this redesign are the side mirrors. So I want to add some integrated indicators in those and I want to make this air intake more defined because here you don't have any definition of the lines. So I want to make it more sharp and have it be something like that. So it's very distinct. And this is where it starts and this is where it ends. So that's it for the brief. That's kind of the general idea of what I want to do with this redesign. I'm excited to get started. So let's continue in Photoshop and see how this is going to turn out. All right, so here we are. And yes, this is Photoshop. And what I'm going to start with is to create, to start and think about this, uh, this box of the front graphics that I was talking about in the brief. That will be 
the biggest change in this redesign and, and the most important one for me is to get that right because if you look back on the 60s, the 70s and early 80s uh, muscle cars and cars of American cars of that era, the design was very, very simple. And by simple, I mean it was not a lot of styling, but it was more focus on the graphical elements of the car, while most of them had these straight horizontal and vertical lines that built up the car a lot of attention was put on the graphical elements of the car and that was what separated all the models apart and that's what i want to focus on in this redesign so whenever i start a project like this or any other redesign the easiest way is to start big. I don't want to go in and change small details early because that is just going to mess up the overall picture of what it is I'm trying to do with this design. I often get asked why I don't use Photoshop to its full potential and I guess they mean, what they mean is, why don't I use the tools that are available, such as the curve tool, the selection tool to get these clean selections of whatever surfaces of the car you want to have. But it's, just, it's the exact same response as to why I'm not trying to make my hand sketches look perfect. Because if you're trying to make something look perfect, I think it just ruins the overall art part of the redesign. It gets kind of boring. If something is too perfect, it isn't interesting. So having a bit of freehand, or in my case, 100% freehand sketching, uh, or 95 at least, I use tools sometimes to get some weird angles and curves right. But if I use freehand, first of all, it's way more fun. And secondly, it doesn't look 100% perfect. It still looks in some areas of the design. You can still see that this is a sketch and an illustration that was made by somebody and not a computer program or a 3D model. And that's the reason why I prefer to have my hand sketches be all over the place and just throw down some lines, throw down some markers and then adjust as I go. That's exactly the same approach I use with these redesigns here. So muscle cars, let's talk about muscle cars here for a second. Honestly, when I was growing up, I didn't have, as I said before, I didn't have a lot of exposure to them and I really didn't like the overall design of most of them from the 60s and 70s, but that has completely changed now when I'm starting to to appreciate all the, the details and the, the, the design of the cars. I really thought that they were looked too heavy and they looked like uh, big boats with wheels on them and they just didn't look fun to drive and I, I haven't really driven any 60s or 70s muscle cars yeah I'm, I'm not sure how they are to drive but what i love about them now is this simplicity in its design and the fact that they are so easy to work on and i also appreciate the history of these 60s and 70s uh, muscle cars and the competition between the companies. It was such a special era and I kind of wish that I lived through it and uh, experienced it firsthand. And then in the 80s the oil crisis began and everything just dropped and the muscle cars started to have 150, 180 horsepower or something like that. So the 60s and 70s were a special time and that competition also resulted in a lot of innovation when it comes to cars and how they are built. So what does the future look like for muscle cars? Well, I think, or I hope, we're starting to see it already with the electrification of cars. It's going to be a new era of uh, competition 
I hope it's going to be similar as it was in the 60s and 70s, but now instead of gas and horsepower from combustion engines, we're going to have a race to the top of electric power and the technology and range and battery technology. All of that is going to have a very important role moving forward and I'm really excited to see how this is all going to play out. Now with this redesign here, I wanted it to look like it could potentially be a evolution of the current design and not something crazy and totally different and redesign it in a way that we wouldn't recognize it as a charger anymore. And to me, these steps that we did here in this redesign, this seems to me like it could be a potential evolution of the design because we see more and more car design going into a more sharper design, going from a softer rounded style into a more defined and geometric design. And instead of over styling, what's taking over now are some key graphical elements of the car. And that's what I wanted to implement here. And that's the redesign of the current Dodge Charger. I'm happy with the results. I'm really excited to see the official Charger and Challenger when they come out in uh, 2023. Supposedly, you never know, it might be delayed again. But what I'm curious about when they uh, release these new cars in 2023, since they are already retro designed, I'm curious to see whether they will continue on that trend or uh, implement some new design cues to make it look a little less retro and maybe a little more futuristic. Me personally, I hope that they will go all in 150% on the retro vibes for these new cars because it's just more exciting than trying to conform and uh, be like all the other cars out there. But I guess we'll find out in 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please hit that like button, it really means a lot to me and it means a lot to the YouTube algorithm as well and it helps these videos out. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe to the channel and browse around on the channel for more redesigns just like this. Up the Sketch Monkey, thanks again for watching, I will see you in the next one. Take care.